Have you ever wondered what happens to your plastic and other recyclables when you're done using them? When you toss them into the recycling bin, their journey to become an entirely new product begins. In the city of Fargo, you can recycle all kinds of materials including aluminum, cardboard, newspaper, glass and plastic. Just last year, 2,514,000 pounds of recycling were collected from Fargo households. That's the equivalent of 629 cars. Residents separate their recycling into different containers before setting them out on the curb. Then it's collected by the recycling department. The driver will collect each type of recyclable and put it into the appropriate bin in the truck. And if it ends up contaminated, if you end up with glass with the plastic, a lot of times it ends up just going into the landfill anyway. So it's, it's really important to keep it separated so that doesn't happen. Recycling is also offered for businesses. Cardboard is one of the most common materials that businesses recycle. Some residents choose to take the recycling to one of the many drop sites in town. This is a great option if you live in an apartment building that doesn't offer recycling collection. After recyclables are collected by the city, they're taken to Minn Kota Recycling where the materials are sorted to make sure all the garbage and non-recyclables are removed. The material is sent up a conveyor where it is segregated manually and placed in an appropriate bin that's located below. So we drop our PET plastic bottles in one container and then the HDPE containers in the other which are your milk jugs and detergent containers and products like that. Then the items are baled and sent by truck or train to be recycled into new products. We get the material commingled from the cities. They bring in the product in a container and then they empty that container. We have to prepare it to ship it off to markets to be remanufactured into other products again. This aluminum can will be back on the shelf in as little as six weeks. Did you know that by recycling just one aluminum can, you can save enough energy to power a light bulb for four hours. The other products are quickly reused too. Plastic collected in Fargo is recycled into carpet or landscaping materials. Newspapers are taken to the Pactiv plant in Moorhead where they're recycled into egg cartons. Glass is repurposed into landscaping glass and ground up for sandblasting at Glass Advantage in West Fargo. A few other neat products made from recyclables include magazines pulped and made into new paper, phone books turned into insulation for homes, cardboard which is turned into new cardboard, and office paper is turned into tissue paper, facial tissue, and toilet paper. Next time you have the choice to throw a recyclable in the trash or in a recycling bin, always choose recycling. You'll help reduce the waste in the landfill and help businesses make new products. Of course, not everything can be recycled. Some waste needs to go in the trash. Fargo garbage collectors picked up nearly 20,000 tons of trash last year. We use an automated, volume-based system in Fargo. That means each household can fill up just one garbage cart each week. This encourages people to recycle and reduce their waste. Drivers pick up trash from your boulevard each week on your regular garbage day. Carts should be placed on the end of your driveway with the handle facing towards the house. Recycling bins must be placed at least five feet away from the cart so the robotic arm doesn't knock over the recycling. The robotic arm reaches out, picks up the cart, and dumps the contents of the cart into the garbage truck. When the truck is full, the driver takes it to the landfill where operators use machinery to properly place and pack the garbage. <laughs>